Hi, thank you for coming back to another video. This is Future Editing Rachel. I am here because I wanted to go over a few things with you before we get started. I'll also be coming back towards the end to have a little chat. In today's video, you're going to see the process of me adding a pod extension towards the top of my anthuriums. I call it a dome since the first thing I used actually looked like a dome. So I just have a habit of calling it a dome instead of a pot extension. Here are four reasons why I feel adding a pot extension slash dome towards the top of your anthurium is a good idea. Reason number one. So from all I've read so far, anthuriums like their roots to be humid. And since we're growing these anthurium indoors, this adding a top extension to the pot is a great way to keep the roots humid. Most anthurium species love to climb, so you can see them in the wild growing on branches as epiphytes. As an anthurium grow, they can get top heavy, so they end up needing some kind of support. So think of this pot extension as a moss pole around the stem. The last reason is it worked for me before, so I'm doing it again in a different way. To not make this video too lengthy, I did end up speeding part of the top extension process. Enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. I got this plant, I would say spring or summer of last year, and it did not grow any new leaves for me. But in September, I added a little dome to it and the dome has soil and there's a little moss on top. The minute I made these changes to the pot, Within a month, I got five new leaves. Of course, once I got the new leaves, I had a spider mite attack on this plant. And you can see the, the leaves, the small leaves have a little damage to them. As for like this one, there's pest damage right there. You can see that. So that was unfortunate. Um, I do want to check this plant because I watered it yesterday and the dome is, uh, it needs a little help. I actually have a different type of dome that I'm gonna use with this, with this plant instead of, what did I do before? Okay, so this is what I used before. It's basically uh, a, a lid for a cup and I cut a hole in the middle and I put it, I put it in the pot, but I need more of a dome, so I'm gonna use this. I'm going to turn it upside down, cut the top. Of course, I won't be able to put it in the pot. I have to make a slit on here. So we're going to do that on, we have two anthuriums to check on the dome. And then there's three anthuriums to add a dome to. So I'm actually going to, I, might, I think I'm going to add a dome to all of the anthuriums, a new dome for it. So, and this dome, I'm also making a change to the dome. Having plants is a lot of experimenting. Watch the process of how the plant behave when you do something new to it. And if it's good changes, you want to do it again. And even like you grow from those changes too. So I'm growing from using this lid into something else that's a little bit more sturdy. So I'm going to use leca and moss instead of soil at the top because I want to try that to see if it does any better. The reason why I'm using the LECA is because sometimes the moss can get compacted in the dome and I want some more, I want aeration in there. So that's why I'm using LECA. I'm thinking the LECA would add a little bit more aeration to the plant. Bring the camera down now. And I can show you what I have going on, what it looks like with the dome, since I'm going to be removing it. Pull you back up. <laughs> I did a reel on this anthurium, this one and another Magnificum, and I'll put a clip on the reel what I did and what happened so you guys can see that. Um, but in the meantime, let me finish doing this. 
There comes a point in your plan journey when you have to try some silly things to support your plan. This Anthurium clarinervium was being extra stubborn and not giving me any more leaves. I did fix this problem by adding a simple lid from a plastic cup. I added it to the top of the pot, put some soil in there to give the aerial roots some support. One month later, four new leaves. I think this plant is finally happy. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's really wide and chunky, uh, like a tr like really thick. So, and I'm looking at the pot, and I think I need to add some more soil to it. So I might have to take it out of the pot. I don't really want to do that, but I might have to do that. It's kind of loose. Uh, so, yep, we're gonna add a dome to this one. Oh, it's just, uh, okay. This one's finished. I'm gonna check on the other anthurium I have to see how it's doing with its dome. It's it's gonna get a dome change too. This one I have in the IKEA cabinet. This is a new leaf that it came that it gave me after I put gave it a dome. So this is the the oldest leaf. I had another leaf and it fell off. This was the oldest leaf, and this is the next leaf. And after the dome, that is the leaf. When I got when I got spider mites on that one, I was afraid that this leaf, because this leaf was also coming into, I was afraid it was going to get spider mites on it. So I sprayed it while, with alcohol and water, and some of the alcohol and water burned the top part of the leaf. So instead of, uh, I just cut that part off. I didn't want to do that, but it it didn't look good. So yeah, and I don't know if it if it ended up getting spider mite damage. The sun is really strong right now. Sorry. Um, there's some kind of markings there, so maybe it did get a little. I don't know. Let us open this up, perform some surgery, see if what it looks like in here. Okay, so here's what it looks like when I took dome off. It's it's nice and chunky. There's aerial root right here, and there's a lot of roots in the soil. So it's it's not looking. This is also a magnificum, so it's not looking like this kind of floppy. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start making the dome now. I'm back and I have all the domes cut out already. Uh, they're not really the same size, <laughs> but it works. So this is what the cup looks like and I've cut, how much have I cut out? Let's see. So I've cut mm, less than an inch. This is gonna be the first one. So I already had a dome on this one. So there's a lot of soil here already. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of bury it a little more. I don't know, let's see. So, I mean, if you can see, uh, there's 
roots, you know, that root is going in. So let's let's get this done. Let's get it done. Oh, hmm. that's going to be a bit of a problem. All right. So how am I going to fix that? No, let's see how it, let's see how it fits. I don't want to hurt the leaves. change of plans. I'm going to cut this a little lower. Let's see if this will work. That is a lot better. All right. Here is what I have. This is the plastic material. I've put it in them in there and it's not really it's kind of holding the leaf up a little bit but it's not so bad this one's not even touching so now I'm going to I'm gonna fill it back with the soil The reason why I put the tape on here is because once you start adding soil or any substrate in here, the cup will kind of open up a little bit and you want it to, to stay closed. is looking very nice. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in the cabinet where it belongs. Say goodbye to this leaf. Let's do this Magnificum. I added some LECA on the side of the pot because it's kind of weighing down the plastic. The What plastic is this? This is the third plastic. I have one more and we'll be finished. Thank you so much for watching this video of me adding a top extension for my anthuriums. I did want to share that next week's video will be a creative plant craft. So get ready. I'll see you next week.